Welcome back to the next Premiere Pro tutorial with another folder in video effects. So the next folder in video effect, as you can see, uh, after adjust is blur and sharpen. And when we open, there are actually six effects under the folder. I'm going to work on two of them. So I uh, want to make the videos somehow shorter and uh, make them somehow interesting, not in a boring manner. So I'm going to work on two of these uh, effects for the video which is camera blur and directional blur so let's start we make this part a bit a bit bigger so that you can understand what's going on the first effect is camera blur and I'm gonna bring it right onto the video as you can see it makes the camera in a blur format in a blur way and if you go to the effect controls page at the top of here you can change this number which is the percent of blur 25 percent blur is now uh, set by default by the camera blur to this video and then i can increase it or decrease it as much as i want so what is it good for you can do many things with this uh, camera blur you can uh, even mask some parts of uh, the person or the background of the person so you can make those masked parts uh, blurred and for that you can easily for example uh, mask around the face if you don't want to make uh, the speaker or the one who is speaking in the video visible and you want to make him somehow unknown you can uh, increase the blurness and you can see this amount of blurness could be okay and the person cannot be identified or cannot be known uh, as I told you uh, this video is somehow about 25 seconds I want to show you how to mask uh, how to make your mask actually move with the face with the main object that you have masked with the main object that is under the mask because in previous session you have asked me let the mask go and let the keyframes go till the end of the video and we want to make sure if the mask and the blur or whatever that you have masked move with the main object no problem we can do that and from here I start uh, tracking of the movements so now uh, Premiere Pro is automatically keyframing all the movements of the main object which is my face and is syncing all of them with the uh, masks that I've set on the face so every time that I'm moving my face the mask will be moving for masking as I have told you you can uh, be more detailed you can give curves we have another video into our channel so you can see how you can do that uh, so if I get back to the beginning and I play the video as you can see while I'm moving my face to right, left, uh, back, forward, the mask and the blur is moving uh, as well as my face and it doesn't move aside. So in this case you can make speaker or whatever into the video unknown, invisible somehow, uh, make it unidentified. And uh, in previous, uh, I told you in, in previous sections I have put videos in my channel about how to uh, mask how to change these mask uh, angles to a curved manner so you can go into the channel and uh, find them this is easy and this is how you can give this camera blur to your effect to make it uh, somehow unknown everyone every person or every object that you have in your video that you don't want to have the 100% clearance you can just put a mask on it and you can put a camera blur on it and uh, Make such a video. So let me clean the mask again as you can see This is the whole uh, video and the whole screen is blurred You can do something else. You can easily come to the zero for example. So uh, I use the mask again if I want to make myself visible and I just want to make my background blurred I can mask myself like this uh, I told you if you want to do the masking in a detailed way you can find the video in my channel imagine that the masking is done if I increase the uh, blurness you can see the blurness is done like this but I am blurred what can I do to make my background blurred easily you should come to this inverted uh, box and you check it and then you can see that background is blurred and you or whoever who is speaking is in a visible way so to make that somehow detailed I told you you can play with those mask squares or you can just add a curved uh, setting option to that so you can change all these extra unblurred parts to a blurred part somehow 
and even you can increase or decrease the blurness like this if I play the video that you can see that um, I am moving and I'm speaking and my background is blurred somehow and if you want just to make the blur move or if you want to uh, give a kind of motion to your blur as I told you you can add the keyframes and you can let the Premiere Pro keyframe the areas automatically by pressing uh, this button this is just all about uh, camera blur imagine we want to have another effect which is again in blur which is directional blur in directional blur you can add that blur again for example you can make it blur like this but look how the blur is coming it's coming from up to down or down to top and this is because of this direction because you can easily if I make it blur you can easily change the angle from right to left and uh, horizontal vertical in any case that you want it's up to you for example I want to set it to 35 degree which is the direction of blaring and I want to make it this much blare and this is for all of my video if I want to make it more beautiful I can use it as a kind of transition in uh, my videos this is something that I can produce a kind of transition to make it beautiful how you can come to the beginning of your video and make such a scene so nothing is visible you don't see yourself the blur is 418 the direction is 35 degree so at the beginning you can add the blur length keyframe at the beginning of your video which is here I have add one and you can go a bit forward and reset it make it visible if I come to the beginning of video you see this is a kind of transition you can even make this up distance shorter uh, to take actually the speed faster to take the speed um, higher somehow like this even faster you can uh, increase the pace of this blurness like this I've already uh, put how to keyframe in I think tutorial 2 or 3 if you watch them you can know how you can add these keyframes and when you play with these two dots you can increase it decrease it so that the speed of the blaring or whatever or every other effects that you've keyframed will be increased or decreased so in this case you can see I have add something like that even you can come to the beginning of the video and add a keyframe for the direction the direction is 35 degree you can come here in this part and then you can add a degree of 61 for example and if, we, if you go back you can see the direction is moving and the blurness is moving as well as you can see if I come slower you can see the direction is changing and the blurness is happening so imagine that I put both of these two keyframes a bit far and then I play from the beginning of the, my video you can see the direction is moving and the blurness is happening as well you can use it as a kind of transition and make your video more effective for the next session I will uh, work on Gaussian blur and reduce interlace flicker but for today we just work on these two effects which were camera blur and directional blur please subscribe my channel like the video and don't forget to watch other tutorials in Premiere Pro in previous sections and wait for each tutorial every week share this video with others see you later